We're here at my learning block. Thank you for being here. Um, we are working on how to help your child understand classifying triangles, I think. I'm pretty sure that's why we're here. If we're not here for that reason, then I have no idea why I'm here. No, I am joking. All right, so a triangle, as you are aware, is a polygon that has three sides or three angles. Henceforth, the word tri, triangle, three angles. Good, man, I'm just, I'm getting better with this Latin stuff. All right, so today we're going to actually classify our triangles. All right, now, as you know, triangles can be classified two specific ways. One is based on their angles and the other is based on their sides. Today, we're going to focus on classifying triangles based on their sides. So if you need angles, just go check out another video and we got you. All right, so, um, Today we're going to focus on scaling triangles. Now, when you're helping your child to understand uh, a scaling triangle, what you want them to understand is a scaling triangle has no sides that are the same length. All right. So a triangle with no equal sides is a scalene. I'm trying to think of a good way of figuring that out. but. For for the most part, when I'm working with my students, I just let them know scalene is that triangle. We also have the isosceles and the equilateral triangle. And I help them understand those. So when it comes time for scalene, they're pretty much at a point where they understand. Now, a lot of right triangles will be scalene triangles. Um, not all, of course, but a lot of them. There, there are a lot of instances where we get scalene right triangles. Um, and that just basically means this side is different from this one and the hypotenuse is different from all three. All right, it, it could look very weird like that. It could be, um, let's think of, oh, dots. All right, it could be such as this. Um, there are different ways of creating scaling triangles, but as long as your child understands that they are different sides with regards of length, they'll be perfectly fine. Um, it, it's very fun to do this type of stuff. You can give your child an, uh, the opportunity to actually create triangles themselves, to draw them or to look for them around and, and identify them as scaling triangles. Now. Examples of non-scaling triangles are these, and I'll tell you why. Well, this equilateral triangle, all sides are the same, are equal, therefore it is definitely not a scaling triangle. We'd have to probably pull this side out a little bit and make it look a little bit like that. Um, this triangle on its side, these sides I do believe are equal, which again makes an isosceles triangle and not a scalene. We're looking for a triangle with three sides that are three different lengths, pretty much. And then we have, thank you again for joining me here on my learning block. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to seeing you next time and keep learning with me. Okay.